name is Maurice Evans. I live in an Atlanta area. I'm an artist, a mixed media artist, filmmaker, photographer, um, all around artist. Early on, I, I realized that I was going to be an artist from the beginning, some sort of artist, right? Like I said in the beginning, I thought about being a doctor until I figured out, yo, I didn't want to go to school that long, you know, because I really didn't like school. Then I figured out you had to go to school for another eight years or so after that. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. So I knew I loved music. I know I loved the visual arts, painting. I love fashion illustration at the time. Um, I've always loved the arts. So I always, always knew I was going to be an artist. From Since I was six years old, I knew that. Yeah. Biggest challenge, I say for an artist, for me as an artist, has been... Um, Hmm, money I would think. Money has been the major thing. I think money can hinder an artist, the lack of, or the lack of resources. Because I think when you have the resources to be free, I mean really free, not worrying about my next meal, not worrying about where I'm gonna stay, or you know, the regular necessities of life, then I think you can be truly free creatively. You know what I'm saying? So as an artist, I think you are, you're striving to be there. You know what I'm saying? And there are some artists that achieve that with the lack of resources, you know what I'm saying? But for me, it's always been, I want to do this, but I don't have the money to pull it off. You know what I'm saying? So that's where the creativity comes in. So you create within your, your means, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's been that and um, sometimes the lack of support because it's like for a long time um, people didn't understand artists, they didn't understand the arts, they didn't have an appreciation for the arts like they do now. Um, because back then, you know, they would discourage you from being an artist and say, hey, you're not you're gonna be a starving artist. That was the thing when I was coming up, right? But I will say that I have not starved. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not a billionaire, but I haven't starved. I wasn't gonna let myself starve. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's had its challenges, and most most of, most of the time it's been money for me. But I was still choose being an artist. I wouldn't choose being anything else. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I've witnessed that before. I've witnessed people getting emotional. I've witnessed people uh, seem to have an epiphany. Like, I've seen people come in like, wow. And, that, and you can almost see the change in their eyes. You know what I'm saying? So, I know it has power. I know it can influence people. I know it can motivate. I know it can inspire, it can do all those things. Like, I like that you can do it. And it, you know, that's not really what I was doing it for, but you discover later that's what it can do. What do we need to make Atlanta a thriving art scene? That's, that's a funny question. I don't, I don't know that there's an answer for that. I don't know that that will ever happen in Atlanta. So, some people gonna look at this and feel like I'm bashing Atlanta and I love Atlanta. You know, I've been in Atlanta since 1986, right? So I love Atlanta, I love the people here. But when it comes to the arts, if I'm gonna be real, Atlanta is not the most supportive when it comes to the arts. And specifically, I'm talking about maybe government agencies here, you know what I'm saying? Um, people, individual people will support the arts, but in a weird kind of way. So for example, when I used to do the Black Arts Festival, right, it seemed like the whole of Atlanta would come out to the Black Arts Festival to purchase artwork, right? And at the time, the Black Arts Festival was every two years, right? And so, I'm a, I was always amazed. It's like, where were you people before the festival? You, you understand what I'm saying? And, you know, I expected people from out of town to come because it's a, it's a thing for them, right? But I live here, you live here, you're just not reaching out to me now, you know what I'm saying, not, you know, for 10 days, every two years, you understand what I'm saying? What happened to the other time? 
you know. So I've always felt that the, the people didn't support the artists like consistently and continuously. You know what I'm saying? It was always seasonal, and I would find my support system here. So I'm not saying I haven't done well in Atlanta, but I am saying it is very difficult, right? It's not like, um, hmm, because I do have other places to compare it to. So like, I go to New Orleans a lot, right? And I have friends who are artists in New Orleans, and I see how they're supported in New Orleans. They're supported all the time, all year round every year you understand what i'm saying and they have a huge festival there that brings in people from all over the world and those people tend to want to support new orleans based artists you know what i'm saying but new orleans takes care of new orleans based artists you understand what i'm saying so even if the people didn't come from out of town i think they would still be supported because they love the arts and i think they understand how just how important the arts is. So the role of an artist, and again, I've had many discussions about this with different people, different artists, different people that are in the arts. And my personal opinion is, I think the role of an artist is to, to create art. It's to, to, to do his art, to be expressive and creative. I don't think it's up to the artist to save the world. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's up to the artist to it's not their responsibility, let me put it that way. It's not their responsibility to um, take humanity forward, even though they do. I don't necessarily think it's their responsibility, right? Now, the society can't do anything without, without artists. You know what I'm saying? So the role of an artist is very important. Everything that we do involves the artist, right? So wh whatever car you drive, it was designed by an artist. The forks and plates that you use, somebody designed that. It was an artist who conceptualized that and created that, right? Or at least drew it out, right? Um, but if we're talking about, you know, visual arts as far as painting and sculptures and stuff like that, I just think they're supposed to create, right? And so, a lot of people will tell you the role of an artist is to 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 move us forward to show us things that we haven't seen before or conceived of before right um, some people would say that I, I would say that you know um, but we do a lot I mean it's but I don't I don't think it's our role you know what I'm saying I think I think we do it because we understand the responsibility and we understand where where people are and we understand a lot of times people can't they can't achieve it if they can't see it you see what i'm saying and we know that to be very true so artists take that on and they take it among themselves and put it on their shoulders to try to move people forward say hey let me show you this is where we are let me show you where we can be you understand what i'm saying that's what i think if there's a role that's what the role of an artist would be right to kind of move us forward right or to show us how ridiculous we are at the same time like the stuff that we've been doing that we thought was normal isn't cool you know what i'm saying and look how crazy it is let me show it to you right so it's like holding up a mirror to society and saying look how ridiculous you are look what you're doing to us as human beings look what you're doing to the earth you know what i'm saying so sometimes artists have to be that mirror for society. So artists have a lot of roles, but I don't think it's necessarily their responsibility.